this astronaut named Chris Ferguson was supposed to go to space and he's you know been working towards going to space he's an astronaut that's what they do mm-hmm. you know so he's working on this mission and i guess there's a lot of prep when you're an astronaut they don't just you don't just become an astronaut and they stick you in a rocket and send you to space there's there's prep you've seen all the movies there's a lot to do it takes like at least a year mm-hmm. before you get ready to go to space at the same time his daughter gets engaged and is planning a wedding so he can't be two places at once, obviously. He either has to be at his daughter's wedding or he's got to go to space, which is his job. He's an astronaut. Mm-hmm. He decided he's not going to do one of those things. Guess which one he chose not to do. He's not going to his daughter's wedding. He's not going to space. Really? He is going to his daughter's wedding. He chose his daughter over the future of this country, of whatever they would find in space, whatever his mission was, he's not going. That's completely ridiculous. She can get married tomorrow. She doesn't have to get married six months from now. She can, she can get married anytime. Well, that's the thing I don't understand. Why can't they, why can't he do both? Why can't she work her wedding around his space journey? Mm -hmm. I mean, she, she knows her dad's an astronaut. It's not a big surprise. But I guess my guess is the wedding was planned first. The mission came up second and they gave him the launch date. And he was like, kind of giving away my daughter that week. No, I think he had it on the calendar at home and she just didn't look at it. You know, I want to get married May 16th. Oh, dad's gone. Yeah, let's still get married on May 16th. No, (laughs) that's you can move that. You can't move the space trip. You can move the wedding to whenever you want to. Yeah, can you imagine asking NASA, oh, that date doesn't work for me. Can we do it like two weeks later? Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> no, I, I don't. She can move it. She's a pain in the ass. She's a massive pain in the ass because she's not moving her wedding day. <laughs> wedding days, I hate to tell you, they aren't that important. Well, I don't know. Maybe this day has some meaning. Maybe she had like a, a numerologist tell her that she has to get married. Oh, my God. May 3rd. Then she's insane. <laughs> <laughs> you know then she's crazy and if it's a friday the 13th she can wait till next year and do it on friday the 13th the crazy thing is there's only a few jobs in the world that are really hard to get that when you get that job and whatever that job is you do whatever that job wants like there's certain jobs you can say no to i mean you know when i was a waitress I was able to say to my boss, listen, can you not put me on the schedule that weekend? I got a wedding. It was no big deal. They mm-hmm. just wouldn't schedule you. And I was it didn't matter if there was another waitress there. But I, there's not a lot of astronauts in the world. It's really hard to become an astronaut. So when your astronaut boss says to you, the astronaut, here's your date that we're going to send you up to space. You can't really say no. What if you're president? No, I'm sorry. I'm in the Oval Office that day. You can't get married. You got to tell the little girl, no, she can't get married that day. Right. I can't president today. I, I need I need a couple right. of weeks off from presidenting. No, you can't. You have to work. I think if you do any job, she should schedule around the main players in the wedding. It's got to work out for her. It's got to work out for her mom, her husband, and and his family. As long as it works out for everybody, then you can schedule it. If dad's going to be on Mars that day, sorry, <laughs> you're not getting married. And I think you just you plan your wedding and you hope your dad's around. I mean, like if your dad is president, he could say, yeah, right now that weekend works perfectly for me. But you don't know what can happen that weekend. Maybe there's some catastrophe Mm -hmm. and he has to go down in a bunker or be available or, you know, be in the Oval Office all weekend. So I think there's certain jobs that people have, dads and moms, that you just you can't plan. You can't plan around. You just have to say to yourself, you know what? They're not, they might not make it. I mean, I got married only because it was the only date that was available. When when Sean Lee and I got married. Date was we, available for what? For, for the place that we wanted to get married. So his father is a member of a club that he grew up going to. So it's like a private club that for actors and people in voiceovers. That's what they did for a living. Mm-hmm. And that club rents itself out as a wedding venue. It only had one weekend date available the year that we wanted to get married. Mm-hmm. So we we chose that date and it was right after it was literally like a day after tax day. It was April 16th. So, of course, 
my accountant couldn't come, my parents' accountant couldn't come, and my father-in-law's accountant couldn't come. So everybody was at the wedding except for the three accountants <laughs> because it was the big day after there. tax day. Yeah, big so, loss there that accountants didn't show no, up. No, but I'm just saying, what I mean is, <laughs> if I was the daughter of an accountant, right. I would know not to schedule my wedding the day after tax day because he wouldn't be able to make it. It's a dumb time. If You know what I mean? So it's like there are certain jobs that you, if, if your dad is Santa Claus, you know, you can't, you can't plan your wedding on Sept- on December twenty fifth. Any time in December, if your if your dad is well, Santa any time in December because Santa Claus is you know he's busy. He's putting toys together. He's putting the list together. He's, he's got got, malls. He's got to do. He's got malls you know, get, to go to. He's got yeah, all of get, that. Get married in June if you're Santa's daughter. Get married in June. That's all I'm saying. So if the only date was available was April fifteenth, but you see on this on the calendar, Dad's going to be on Jupiter that day. Right. <laughs> then you move it to 2021. You don't have yeah. to marry Sean Lee on April 16th. You can wait till April 16th, 2021, because dad's on Jupiter that day. I don't know what happens to couples. They get on this train where they get engaged and they want to get married. They don't want to be engaged for too long. And then they start planning a wedding. And And once you're on that train, once you've picked a dress, you've asked someone to be your, your bridesmaids. Once all that stuff starts happening, it's hard to undo it. But so what I'm saying is, she knew her dad was an astronaut. Mm-hmm. It's it's not a secret. But the fact that he chose her over going to Venus is amazing. Well, your dad was a doctor, yeah. So he could have had a, a massive surgery that day. Then what would you do? Um, yeah, no, you're right. But by the time, luckily, by the time I got married, he was no longer doing surgery. He was running the department. Mm -hmm. So he just had to schedule other anesthesiologists and surgeons and stuff like that. He just was like a scheduler guy. So he, he had his weekends free. Oh, okay. But, but if I got married during the time when he was still doing surgeries, yeah, you're right. He could have had a surgery and I would have been like, oh, well, come afterwards. Then there, we're going to have to start a business, rent a dad. Right. So, so you you rent dads out for the day, and yeah. the dad will will walk you down the aisle. Then the dad will dance with you, and he'll cut the cake with you. He'll do do all the dad things. Yeah, the dad daughter dance. So you get Donald Sutherland, and you get him to walk you down the aisle, and then he shakes your hand after the dance, and he goes back home and drive my drunk cousins home. And he's going to look better in the photos than our dad would anyway, so That's Good point, yeah. You uh-huh. know, the photos are going to look better. It's a it's a win-win all the way around. <laughs> when the guy asks who gives this woman, he can say me and uh, whoever her mom is cuz I have no idea. I haven't <laughs> I met have her. No yet. Idea. <laughs> <laughs> but he'll say it in that Donald Sutherland voice and everybody will melt. You could have James Earl Jones at least when he oh, when he yeah. walks in and he says my wife and me. He would sound really good. <laughs> Good at, at doing it. Oh, so if he doesn't have to look like my dad, I'd choose James Earl Jones. I mean, that <laughs> voice. Right. And he can walk, and you would look cool because he'd, he'd have to dress like he did in uh, Coming to America when he's walking right. you down the aisle with the big tiger <laughs> on his uh, <laughs> shoulder. <laughs> Rent a mom too. You could rent a mom <laughs> because moms complain and bitch and moan and groan. And if you, you know, rent a mom, you can pick anyone you want. My mom is barely around anyway, so it feels like I've rented her. Right. You probably have more fun with a rent-a-mom and rent-a-dad than you would anybody <laughs> with the real ones.